you need to understand the differences between solid, liquids and gases and how to recognise them. So here we have a solid. We can recognise that because the particles here are all very close together, they're all touching, and I've drawn the vibrations here on is these tiny little green movements. Now solids are very fixed in position, they may wiggle around a little bit, but they're not really going to change their shape very much because they're very, very close to weather. together, they can't really be squashed. So solids, you need to know that they can't flow, they have a fixed volume, they have a fixed shape. So solids, very very close together, very small gaps in between them, so not a lot of space for them to be squashed, which is why they have a fixed volume and they have a fixed shape. Here we have a liquid. And you'll notice that there is a bit more space between them. I've drawn two lines for the movement here, because liquids, they do move around quite a lot, but some of them are still going to be touching each other, so they're not completely separated from each other, and they do have larger gaps in between them. So liquids, they can flow. They don't have a fixed shape, they do have a fixed volume. At the end of this playlist, I've put um, a really interesting video from New Scientist, which is about a liquid called pitch. It looks like a solid, but it can flow, which means it's a liquid. And then lastly, we have our gas. You'll notice there is big, big gaps between these, and I've put three little squiggly lines to indicate that gases really do move around quite a lot. So gases, they can flow and they don't have a fixed volume or a fixed shape. So here I have my solid, my liquid and my gas and I've drawn a red arrow here to show that it's heating up, we are putting energy in. When we go from a solid to a liquid we are boiling. A liquid to a gas is evaporating. A gas to a liquid is condensing. A liquid to a solid is freezing. And the last one, which you don't need to make your GCSE, but it's interesting, uh, when you go from a solid to a gas, it is sublimating. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Check out my website, bromoscreen.com, for any new videos, all the videos sorted by exam board, the blog, and any um, extra advice there is. Any comments, questions, topic requests, or um, corrections below.